up guys it's roger or the 4k king thank you for joining me on yet another video so january has come to an end and with that is another great month for movies and physical media so i've gone ahead and i've laid out everything that i've purchased this month or received from studios right in front of me and i'm going to show it all to you guys in one great video so keep in mind I might have forgot something that I've already talked about in the future. I have horrible memory. I'm going to try and keep them aside uh, for next month. But if I do forget something, I'll touch on it next month in February. So you should subscribe so you don't miss February's update. Now, I have three stacks here. One is Steelbook. One is 4K. One is Blu-ray. I got a lot of DVDs this month. I don't want to talk about DVDs. Not that they don't matter, but there's too many of them and i'll do a separate video for that because it's kind of a whole thing you, you guys will see when that video comes out but this is stuff from my collection that i just purchased i just pulled it off the shelf and uh yeah so we're gonna start with steel books we don't have that many steel books we got more than i usually do but uh so starting us off for the month of january and these are in no order by when i purchased them uh, but they were within the month of January. That's that's the only thing they have in common. Uh, we have Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earth. This is a 4K steelbook. I haven't seen this movie yet. I'm excited to check it out. I do want to see it. The animation looks pretty good. And this cover looks just phenomenal. So that was a new release for this month. Best Buy is clearancing out. So I've been taking advantage I grabbed Spies in Disguise, yep, yeah, Spies in Disguise, for $10 on their website. It did come scratch. They can't get me another copy. I need the 4K disc. It is what it is, but that's definitely a bummer. Uh, but this was $10 on their website. And, uh, yeah, I've seen this movie before. It's not bad, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to it. Uh, but we will add it to the collection. Then a movie that I've already owned, but I saw the steelbook and I knew I needed it. This is the Black Panther Wakanda Forever steelbook. This steelbook is gorgeous. Again, I already have the movie, but oh my god, the steelbook is just fantastic looking. So I ended up double dipping. Um, and I thought about going to get that other steelbook, but I don't think I will. Uh, simply because I already have two copies of the movie. I don't need three, so... <laughs> Uh, then we got Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and most of these were $10, by the way, uh, these Disney Marvel ones. Um, yeah, I saw this in theaters. I didn't love it, didn't hate it. It's a Marvel movie, so I needed it from the collection, and uh, the steelbook is nice, though. It's a nice-looking nice, nice -looking steelbook. Uh, then to finish off the Disney, Disney 100 steelbooks. I grabbed Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. My buddy Adam shipped it off to me. I bought it at his local Best Buy, and then he picked it up for me. Uh, so that was the last one I needed. Super happy to have this one. I know there are Marvel and Star Wars ones out there, but I don't want those. Uh, so technically, I won't have a complete Disney 100 Steelbook collection. Uh, but in my eyes, I have all the Disney ones technically, so I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, then finally for the Disney $10 Best Buy stuff, I grabbed Strange World. Only way you can get the 4K disc is in here or through the club. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab this as it's cheaper than getting on the club. Nice steel book. It's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie, so I knew I was going to grab it at some point. And then finally, if you saw my video from a couple days ago, maybe weeks now, I don't know. Uh, I got a package from Hamilton Book. And uh, I ended up grabbing Wild Things on 4K. Go check out that video. I worked really hard on the editing for that video. And I think I did really good with it. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, Wild Things, Arrow Video 4K. Quite a lot of Arrow this month. Uh, but now let's hop into the standard 4Ks. Because we have quite a few 4Ks. So first thing we have is Shrek the Third. I love the Shrek series. I'm going to get the Shrek movies at 4K. Uh, I held out. It dropped down to $11, and that was my price. I said, let me grab it, and um, I'm glad I did. I have the other two in 4K, so 
that was kind of just what I wanted to add. <coughs> Excuse me. I already own them on Blu-ray in a collection, but that's 4K. Uh, then we have, okay, I keep pronouncing the name of this movie wrong, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, okay, I will. I'm going to try. Maltese. Maltese? Maltese? Anyways, the Maltese Falcon. Uh, TikTok tore me up for not pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, I grabbed this one. This was 11 bucks. I haven't seen that yet. I'm excited to check it out. Then a Martin Scorsese Arrow title. Got it Best Buy. Haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to check it out because it's Martin Scorsese. Lord and Savior Scorsese. We have Hugo. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Martin Scorsese. So I'm super and thrilled and excited to check this out in 4k i've had the blu-ray i just haven't gotten around to it and uh at least now when i watch it it'll be in 4k and it's martin scorsese approved and not that that matters but you know <laughs> so yeah really happy to have that and then we have a new release from universal this is trolls band back together i watched this on my iphone on FaceTime at 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was pretty good from what I remember. So, yeah, I need I need to check it out in 4K maybe sometime, because uh, I'm sure it looks good with all the colors. Uh, but it's a fun movie. If you like the other movies, it's more of the same. Here's one that kind of sucks. I bought this for $11, and the Steelbook is on sale right now at Best Buy for 10 so i'm considering buying the steelbook as well although i don't like this movie so i probably shouldn't uh but the reason i bought it to begin with was because it's part of a franchise and i need to have both of the movies so yeah kick ass 2 it's not a bad movie it's just not great um but yeah i, I wanted it for the collection and uh, that steelbook's pretty nice so i might have to go snag it uh, I don't think I can return. I mean, I probably could return it, but Amazon's kind of bitch to return stuff with. Anyways, the creator. I like this movie. I thought it was good. I saw it in theaters. It's a neat sci-fi flick, and uh, I decided to pick it up this month. So yeah. Uh, last two are Arrow video titles. We have Mall Rats on 4K. Oh yeah, love Mall Rats love this edition it's a great edition and i'm super happy to own this one in the collection final 4k we have the hills have eyes on 4k from arrow video again i have not seen this it's a west craven movie i need to check this one out um this year i'm trying not to re-watch anything that i've already seen and kind of just work to get things i haven't seen uh watched so yeah that's the plan uh so this is something i'm definitely gonna watch this this year um i know it sounds kind of silly to not watch because th there have been movies like i'll show you some movies in here that i just got that i loved and i'm buying them because i love them and at the same time i really want to rewatch them but i'm not going to because i need to focus my efforts on other things such as movies i haven't seen <laughs> like the Lighthouse, starting off our Blu-ray stack. I haven't seen this. I really want to, so I bought it. And, uh, yeah. It was five bucks or some something, something really cheap on Amazon. So, like, yep, yeah, that's the price. Uh, I know there's a 4K from Arrow, but it's not here in the States. And it's a pain in the ass to, to get to me. So, if I get it for a good price, sure. But $5 Blu-ray works just as well. And, uh, yeah. The Lighthouse, I heard it's great. I'm excited to check it out. Here's one I've already seen, so I don't have to watch it again this year. Um, Ma starring Octavia Spencer. It's still sealed. Bought off Amazon. I I like the movie. It's not great, but I I mentioned this in one of my other videos. Um, I sold it at one point because I didn't like it at first. Um, and then I'm like seeing clips on YouTube and TikTok, and I'm like, okay, maybe I was a little harsh. And I kind of wanted to watch it again. So I bought it. It was $5. It's kind of hard not to buy a $5 Blu-ray on Amazon. They ship it to your door for 5 bucks. And uh, yeah, so I have it for some point later. I can watch it. Not this year, but you know. Once Upon a Time, Deadpool. 
is a Christmas movie. This is like kind of out of print, so I wanted to grab it. It's kind of a odd one. Fred Savage. If you haven't seen this, it's just Deadpool, but PG-13. And with some Christmas stuff in it. And Fred Savage. It's fun. It's not great, but it's fun. And I liked it. Then a movie I got at Goodwill. Actually, these next two movies I got at Goodwill for a dollar. So, can't beat a dollar movies. We got The Intruder. I watched this already. It was pretty good. Um, it's not an amazing movie, but, uh, you know, it's it's about what you could expect from a movie that has shocking alternate ending and deleted scenes on the cover. So, there you go. Uh, here's one I haven't seen that I got at Goodwill. Like I mentioned, The Command. Haven't seen this yet. It has um, Colin Firth in it. So, maybe it's pretty good. We'll okay, so next up, we have a movie sent over by, uh, by Universal. And um, this is up for best picture. I'm really happy that it is. It's a really good movie. And that is The Holdovers. I really enjoyed this little flick here. Uh, Paul Giamatti is really great. It's, it's definitely going to be my Christmas rotation uh, from now on. Uh, but The Holdovers, really, really good movie. And then my favorite movie of the year, which I'm dying to watch again. But I will hold off. I will past lives i got the blu-ray it was on sale for ten dollars i bought it so fast i was on the phone with somebody they heard me scream that's how excited i was when i saw the sale go up and past lives ten dollars for the blu-ray give me that it's mine it's better when if this doesn't win best picture i will be so disappointed and i posted i posted on instagram we should riot if it doesn't win I can't lie, the holdovers has a good, pretty good chance, but past lives, you better win. You better win. Anyways, next up, we have an item, three items from Paramount. So, Paramount sent me one of these. Sorry, Paramount sent me all of these, but they sent me one to begin with. And I showed it off, talked about it, great, you know, opened it up. And then I get two more packages from them. I'm like, well, crap, what could this be? three of the same i'm not sure why it but we're gonna give these away so stay tuned uh this is special ops lioness season one and we have three copies so one is for me the one i already opened and then we're gonna give uh at least one of these away and the other one will save for a future giveaway uh but yeah so we're gonna give at least one of these we might give them both away we'll see uh but yeah don't know why they sent over three but thank you paramount i appreciate it because these are going to go out to you guys now so make sure and stay subscribed make sure to keep your notifications bells uh check my instagram and tiktok because if i do the giveaway i'll post it on there as well as here but if you want to get entered in uh first it'll usually be on instagram okay rounding out last two blu-rays we have fantasy island this was a pretty decent horror movie that i was like the only person who liked apparently uh but yeah i think it's a decent horror movie sorry it's a decent movie not a horror movie it's not really scary but it's fun and then finally clint eastwood directed movie i had to get in my collection richard jewel i love this movie it's such a good movie and i had i just had to have it in my collection so there we go guys that is my january 2023 sorry 2024 oh my god 2024 update uh we will see you guys next month with our monthly update uh and we will see you guys later this week with more regular content thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe comment and let me know what was your favorite thing that you picked up this month that is it for now.